It's time for another Google Autocomplete Challenge with the Asp Nathan Aspinall, the former UK Open champion. Nathan, you ready Hello. to answer the questions from the internet? I'll give it a go, pal. Okay, right. It's a simple one to start. Easy start for you. Uh, where is Nathan Aspinall from? Nathan Aspinall is from Stockport. Okay, what was it like growing up in Stockport? <laughs> yeah, it was good. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it was all right. It was all right. I've not got to go into two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, it was okay, Stockport. Um, play football all the time, um, but yeah, it was, it was good. Like, and, you've, and you stayed there, you've never never yeah. wanted to move away, never been tempted? Yeah, I have wanted to move away, to be fair. Um, recently, to be honest, um, me and my partner just bought our first house and we wanted to move out of Stockport. Mm. But I wanted to move out of Stockport, she didn't want to come. <laughs> <laughs> so um, she's won and we've ended up buying a house in Stockport. Um, but yeah, it, the thought did cross our, well, my mind. But no, I'm there for the long haul now. Okay, um, this one for you, I'm, I'm interested. Did Nathan Aspinall play professional football? No. Okay, where's that come from? Why would people think this? I was at the Man United Goalkeeping Academy. Okay. Um, for, what, six or seven years. Mm -hmm. um, when I was younger, so what was it, about nine or ten, I got offered a contract for Rangers. But the family, Rangers. Yep, yeah, but the family had to move to Scotland. And obviously only nine or ten. It was a big move, big decision. Obviously, I was still in school. Um, we decided not to. So I might not be sat here talking to you um, if that was the case, but uh, no, I never actually played professional. I played semi-pro for a club called Cheadle Town, but yeah, that was about as far as it went. So you were goalie then? Yeah. Like, you're not, you don't look like a goalie. Like, you're not, you're not big enough <laughs> to be a No, well, that, that was my problem. Um, I wasn't tall enough. When I was at the, the academy, uh, we used to all, all have like height tests and stuff like that. and. Height tests. Yeah, <laughs> that's just that's just measuring. Isn't basically, it? <laughs> to see how in in five or six years' time, what the prediction of how, ah, how, okay. how tall you're going to be, and obviously that's what clubs were looking at. And uh, I wasn't going to be over six foot, so it kind of you kind of get put to the bottom of the pile, and because um, yeah, you need to be tall to be a keeper. Wow. They, they reckon. So uh, was was football always your game? Then? Yeah, uh, well, football and golf. Um, mm. I love my golf, um, but football of. You know, I played for uh, Hillgate Boys, my local team, um, and obviously did the academy. And yeah, which my life I trained every single day. Didn't look like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, football has always been my game. And um, when I was about 10, 11, I started playing golf with my dad. Mm. And that's kind of my game now that I, that I play away from that. Well, that's a, that's one of the questions actually. What other sports does Nathan Aspinall play? Golf, golf's Lots a big Lots of one. golf. I play more golf than I do darts. How good are you? <laughs> I play F9, um, right. so yeah, I'm pretty good. Um, to be fair, last year when we had the break from darts, um, when the golf course was open, I was playing probably four or five days a week. So my handicap came down from what was it, 15 to nine, which is quite a big difference in in golf. So yeah, I'm, I've been uh, I enjoyed it last year. It's like getting out um, and at the golf course where I play, Venice Vale. They don't really talk to me about darts. I'm just a guy that go and playing golf, which is what I like. Are you the best golfer in PDC darts? I know Nicholson's good, isn't he? Paul and, Nicholson. Yeah, quite, I, I think I don't he's. Know how good he is. Talks I, good. Guy. I'm sure he's off too. Um, so I'm not that good. Um, you got Westy. He's a good player. Mm -hmm. um, Merv, he can play. Can he? Um, well, I say he can. I'm not playing with him. When his back's okay. But um, yeah, you got Merv. Uh, McGinney plays. Um, I've never actually played with, with anything. The only lad I've played from with darts is Pegasus, who uh, works for He's the PDC. Pegasus puts the scores here. Yeah. Looks like the old man from up. Um, he right. does, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. What tattoos does Nathan Aspinall have? Lots of tattoos. Lots of tattoos. And more and more by the day, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Um, I've, got, I've got a United badge on my leg. A Man U badge? The standard. Uh, Man tattoo that everyone has. That's, uh, um, when did you have that done? <laughs> so the story behind that, I was in Magaluf. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, okay. I was in Magaluf with my mate Scott Gaskell, and um, United played City. He was a City fan. I was a United fan, mm. and kind of like the fourth it was, but whoever, whatever team won, the, that guy had to get the get it in, uh, tattooed on the leg. And I'm not sure if you, I'm not sure if you're into football, but when. Um, Michael Owen scored, I think yeah. it was 4-3, three, Fergie time. Yeah. Um, obviously I was buzzing the United one, but then I went, oh God, I've got to go and get a Magaluf tattoo on my leg. <laughs> and to be fair, they messed it right up. Um, really? How yeah, bad is it? It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's not, to look at it doesn't, it's not as bad, but when 
I've tried to get it like um, brightened up and no tattoo wrist will touch it because it's all scarred. And if they put a needle on it, it'll just burst my leg. So uh, yeah, don't get tattoos in my glove. <laughs> yeah, there we go. What, you've got some nicer ones though, yeah? Yeah, so I've got like um, pocket watch there with um, my daughter's name and time of birth. That one with my other daughter. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the logo, the snake, the ass snake. Yeah. Um, life is a gamble, because that's kind of been my life. I've took a lot of risks in life. Um, Curse his name there on the chest. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Um, and then, yeah, because a few little ones dotted around. Oh, here we go. This is uh, interesting. This. Was Nathan Aspinall always good at darts? Nathan Aspinall was not always good at darts. Uh, but though, no, I don't know actually, because I didn't start playing until I was probably 17. I didn't even know what darts was. So you'd like. You'd been playing golf and football years before you were playing golf. Oh, ah, yeah, definitely, yeah. I think maybe a bit younger, maybe probably 15, I probably started having a chuck in the house. Yeah. Um, but my first ever game of darts probably wasn't until I was 17. Yeah, probably about 17 for, for the local pub. N my dad and my granddad played, but it never really interested me because I was always out playing football. Mm. Um, and then when I knew my football career wasn't going to go how I wanted it to go, I thought, you know, I'll, I'll give the darts a go. And, uh, yeah, I kind of... I kind of took to it very well, to be fair. After about 12 months, I started playing for like uh, county youth and stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I, I can't say I was always good at that because I didn't really play till I was, like, say, 15, 16. But even though when you started doing PDC stuff, I mean, you're on the tour for a bit. You dropped off yeah. the tour before you came back and started winning loads of titles and making world semi finals and things, didn't you? Yeah, I think what it was with me is I'm one of them guys I could. I either do it or I don't do it kind of thing. So when I first started playing, after about 12 months, I started playing youth with the likes of Scott Taylor, uh, Lee Witt, um, David Evans, people like that. Mm -hmm. And they were doing more things than me, like the development tour, etc. And them guys were the ones that said, why don't you come down, you know, see, see how you do. And kind of after only probably 12 months of throwing darts, that's when I started playing development tour. So um, yeah, I kind of went uh, in at the deep end. Okay, right, uh, final one for you. Who is Nathan Aspinall's best mate on the tour? Oh, best mate on the tour, I've got loads, to be oh, quite honest. I, no, I have, to be fair. So There's so many guys I get along with, obviously, you know, I call him my darting dad, Andy Bolton. Mm -hmm. um, all the ZXF lads that we've got. Um, Chizzy, Davil, um, Smithy. Cheers, all, all of them, to be fair, I got them with them all. I'm, I'm one of them guys that I, I do try and get along with everyone and um, there's just a few players that I spend more time with than others. So the lads like, like say, Andy, Cheers, Devil, Doves, people like that. Okay, I'm going to chuck one in myself. I assume probably somebody Googled this. Is Nathan Aspinall going to be world champion? Nathan Aspinall is going to be world champion. So we need. Might not be at darts, but he'll be <laughs> world champion or something. <laughs> <laughs> Play, good stuff. <Yeah. laughs>